We've got our cardboard template. It's the same piece that went to the glass shop. And what I did is I took a piece of 3 16 aluminum, just cut myself, we're gonna call it a peck. The reason that I called this a peck is because I swear on the video that I see them use this for hand-built boats. They're Australian. And I swear they say pecker. Like a, I, we're gonna use a quarter inch or a, they're Australian, so metric, a 10 mil pecka is how they say it. No clue what they're saying, so we're gonna call it a peck and we're gonna not be offensive. Uh, we know we need to be a quarter inch bigger hole than what that window is actually gonna be and that allows for that trim lock to fit in there. So what I did is I take my peck, put it in there, and I just slide it along the cardboard with my marker right there. And that by the time I cut on the line, that will be a quarter inch. That's why I did 3 16 with about a 16th of an inch marker line. So I'm gonna go around, I'll do all these spots where the tape was, and then uh, we'll get to cutting this out. We'll do the side windows, and then this goes to powder coat. Can't wait. Just got the 150 hung on that project. Moving on to the Suzuki 140. It's going on the barge. We just got the wheelhouse back from Powder Coat. It's got the basically their orange color scheme that the barge business is using. And now I am finally getting to install the rear railings. So the rear with the side, they got another side will go on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and drill my railings together, then into the floor. Then we'll be able to take the wheelhouse, set it up on top, run bolts through, and it'll basically be a boat. In case you wondered about the vision of this project, I think this is going to help it kind of come to life for you. Our fuel fill will go here. This is a little kickstand for a, you got a five or six gallon refill tank. Set it on there, siphon into there. This will be the pilot's view, the captain's view, side windows. Steering wheel, shift throttle, ignition, accessories. We'll probably still cut in a couple holes for our gauges there too. This is our mission for the week is get this boat wrapped up. We've got our rear box in, that's the cushion for it. That'll have batteries in it and additional storage. The motor, everything is run, cables, electrical, hydraulic steering, and then the dash is really coming together. So that's my job today. We've already got our controls, key switch, gauge, steering, fuel, volt gauge, and then we have our switch panel and our stereo. Got a lot of work to do on these two in terms of running wiring and installing the accessories, but I've got my big spotlights for the deck. Oh, say hi to Corey. These will be mounted on the top outside up here to look out really light up that deck in case they're loading or unloading at night. We've got our navigation lights are gonna go on the sides here, and then the anchor light will go up on the top of the wheelhouse. So I'm gonna get clipping along, all of our electrical will pop right out here, go up to the roof. These holes are to strap things down if they need to, store like the swimming ladder or other gear up there that can get rained on, won't hurt anything. Here we go.
Got a pair of six inch speakers and then the seven inch the JL audio. They sound awesome. So the cool part is the driver is gonna have sound without having to crank it up super loud. Really nice clear sound. And then if you're parking, partying, hanging out, these plus those projecting forward, assuming most people are gonna be forward out on the deck, maybe in lawn chairs or whatever, uh, those are gonna be provide really nice sound. So it sounds really, really nice. The dash is complete. We have everything working now. So gauges, power up. No gas in the tank yet, but that'll change soon. All of our switches are on, they're all working. Battery system is in the switch. Tomorrow, we're gonna tackle getting the front bench in. That's gonna sit right in front of the wheelhouse here. We'll get this bench is gonna get a cushion. So somewhere to sit behind. We'll get the captain's chairs in because the rest of the project is going to be happening all out on the deck with the ramps, the tie down points, rub rails. A couple days this is going to be wrapped up. It's been a productive day so far. We got our front. It's a seat, but lots of storage inside of there too. It can be for tools, straps, whatever it needs to be. It opens this way, so obviously the wind doesn't blow it open. And then we've got our back box in, same thing. That has our battery system in it with the switch, but an extra place for people to sit. So if, we're, if they're taking the boat out for a long ride, it's actually not too bad. You can sit with your back against the, the railing uprights there and on each side or just kind of sit sideways, but give somewhere to sit with some functionality. And then we got our, these are adjustable pedestal seats. We didn't want to go full blown seats. We want to take up a lot of space uh, and they need to be pretty tall. So these are, they actually go up another about six inches. It might be excessive, but it's a nice little seat where you're not fully seated, but you can still see everything you need to. So we got a pair of those. And the nice thing is they're on flush mount pedestals. So if they're in the way or you, need to be in and out driving or something you can pull that out it'll actually fit right underneath there nice and easy and you have somewhere to stow them out of the way but otherwise you can walk right through really not bad dash is completely finished just got to get those windows in we got to tie up some of the electrical we're getting some uh, clips for that and then we still have to i'm going to drill holes in the c channel along the top here just on each side so that we can stuff three or four life jackets up above just to have them handy and out of the way, a good place to stow them. Now we're on to the front of the boat. So I'm gonna be doing some welding, some fabricating to make this ramp work. This is a dolly ramp we got online. It's all prefab, it holds a ton of weight, but we're gonna have to make some modifications to it so they can slide out either side of the boat or the front if it's pulled up to a dock or the shore. So that's my next project. I got everything else I needed to do done. It's looking good. Fuel system is all hooked up. So fuel fill, we got the water fuel separator, vent hose, that fuel tank, about 29 gallon tank is anchored in there. It is ready for wrapping things up. So I'm on to metal fab the rest of the day. And then we just have to trim out with duck trim. We got a whole bunch of these stainless steel. The weight rating on them is like 4,800 pounds. Half inch. We're gonna be able to strap things down. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of six inch by six inch backing plates made out of eighth inch aluminum. And we'll go ahead and drill those out so that these can fit right in. And these will go essentially about every 16 inches or so, there's uh, 12 of them. So we'll spread them out all down the boat, all the way down the sides. And that way we can ratchet strap, tie off whatever's on the boat. First run for the Suzuki 140, we're taking it to the lake. We're at the lake, it's late March. We don't get many nice days like this. So we're taking this barge 27 foot out for a test drive you're gonna come along with us 
whisper quiet Suzuki. We love these things. If you're in the market for a new outboard, really take a close look at Suzuki. Great warranty, just an amazing engine. taking you through most everything on this boat so far uh, so we're just out testing making sure that we have the right propeller and getting it nice and warmed up so we can run it wide open just for a short little bit just to get those rpms and see where we're at and then hopefully we'll go and we'll test out when we get back to the launch maybe we'll test out our front vehicle ramps real quick and the dolly ramp make sure everything works the way we want it to but Customer asked us to give give it a little test ride, so we're giving it a little test ride. The windows are dirty. The windows are very dirty. River likes it. Different prop. But that's tickling 20 mile an hour just like that. That's faster than I thought it was gonna go. So we have a, an 11 inch pitch prop on this right now. So we're gonna have to go up to a 13 inch because I was just beyond 6,000 RPM and there's still a little bit left. So we'll go to a 13 inch and I think that's gonna be perfect uh, for this boat for hauling heavy loads. We need to be a lower pitch, so it's kind of like shifting down in, in your car and gears. Uh, but we want to maximize that speed and efficiency, so we want to be able to run 4,500 RPMs and still be going 12 to 15 mile an hour. But I'm I'm tickled with that. How do you feel? Would you like to comment on any cavitation? Yeah, it definitely cavitated. It's too cold to be on a boat right now. Oh, the cold caused the cavitation. Correct. But the motor didn't cavitate, you're just cavitating. Basically, yeah. I don't think I'm you, always cavitating. You should, have, you should have worn more clothes. <laughs> ramp deployed. Go ahead, Riff. Go on, Riff. Up. Go, Bob. Up, nope. Up the ramp. So this ramp is on a rail system. There's a couple pins that keep it from ever coming off if you need it on a bouncy day, wavy day, and then the chain to lower and raise it. Go ahead. Come, on. Come on, Bob. No, right here. Come on. No, no Rip. <laughs> That'd be too easy, huh? Yeah. You're floating away. Vehicle ramps. You will have to be pulled up beach. They hook right in. Oh, that's cool. So the second one will hook on the same way and they can adjust anywhere along this track system depending on the width of the vehicle, uh, whether it's a ATV, a side-by-side, -side, a golf cart, that type of stuff. We can put them both down and easy peasy. These will hold a 3,000 pound vehicle with a pair of ramps. Thank you so much for watching. We loved every second of it. We got to do some welding, got to do some fabricating and make an awesome tri-tune. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. We're gonna keep doing cool projects like this. We want you to follow along. You're gonna jump and like do this. Onto the ground? Yeah. Why? Because. Right now? Yeah, whatever. You're so weird.